StudyMate makes it easy for instructors and students to create flashcards, practice quizzes, and learning games. There are three steps to the process. Create a StudyMate project, add items to the project, such as glossary terms or multiple choice questions, and then study the materials using games and self-assessments. You also have the option to share your materials with others. After logging into StudyMate, you'll see a list of your projects. Or if it's your first time using StudyMate, there will be a sample project you can explore. In a moment, you'll learn the first two steps of the process, how to create a StudyMate project and how to add items to it. But let's jump to the end and look at the games and self-assessments that StudyMate will create from your content. To do that, select the Study button for a project. I'll use the sample project that comes with StudyMate. As you can see, there are a variety of learning activities and games to choose from. What makes StudyMate especially powerful is that you only have to create a question or item once in StudyMate and it will appear in multiple games and self-assessments. For example, these are flashcards, and here is pick a letter. There are matching games, crosswords, quizzes, and more. In all, 11 games and learning activities are available with StudyMate. Now let's return to our project list in StudyMate and create a new project. Select Create New Project. Provide a name and description for the project. This description appears with the games and learning activities, so you'll want to make it meaningful. After reviewing the various settings, select Save. You are now ready to add items to the project, so select Edit. StudyMate has three templates for creating or editing content. The Facts template is used to enter facts that you might get from a lecture or textbook reading. Images can be added wherever there's a camera icon. Simply browse to the image and then select it. A topic can also be added to a fact. Items created with the facts template will later appear in the facts cards activity. If your facts include topics, they will also appear in the fact cards plus activity. The second editing template is definitions. Use it to enter a term and its definition. Items entered with the definitions template will appear in flashcards, pick a letter, fill in the blank, glossary, matching, and crosswords activities. Finally, the questions template is used to create multiple choice or true or false questions. Items created with the questions template will appear in quiz and the challenge activity. To remember which activities are associated with a template, just click the show me link. Note that there's a unique web link for each set of study made activities. This link can be distributed to others. Recipients can access study made activities with any web browser. There's no need for them to sign up for a study made account. You can also use StudyMate itself to send an email that contains the link. Select the pull-down menu for the project, select Share, and then select the option to send the link via email. There's much more you can do with StudyMate, so explore and have fun!